Hello my friends, CJ here. It's good to be back with you guys. Uh, today we are kicking off a new series. We're doing uh, the Hardcore Challenge in World of Warcraft Classic. I decided to roll a Shaman to kick off the Hardcore series. Not really familiar with them, but it's something that, um, yeah, something that I, I want to do. Um, as far as add-ons go, we're keeping it pretty simple. I've got my uh, my inventory, my bag add-on, bag non, which I always roll with. Got a map add add-on that Leatrix maps, which is fantastic. Uh, there's this hardcore add-on. Uh, if you're doing the hardcore challenge, they recommend downloading this add-on. It helps and assists with that. And then, of course, I've got my scrap add-on. Just basically sells all your junk. But that's really it. I'm not going to be rolling with anything else. So, you know, default UI, all that stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, as I said, this is a shaman. Basically, the rule is play, you get one life, right? One life is all you get. Kind of like real life, really, too. Once you die, that's it. Um, you can't continue on with this character. So, hey, we'll see. We'll see how far we get. I'm super excited. So let's jump into it and uh, kick off the shaman. Once a nomadic people, the Torin roamed the endless plains of the Barrens, hunting the mighty Kodo. Scattered across the land, the wandering tribes were united only by their common hatred for their sworn enemy, the marauding centaur. Seeking aid against the centaur, the great chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof befriended the savage orcs who had recently journeyed to Kalimdor. With the orcs' help, Cairn and his tribe were able to drive back the centaur and claim the grasslands of Mulgore for their own. Upon the windswept mesa of Thunder Bluff, Cairn built a refuge for his people. Over time, the scattered tribes united under a single banner. Though the noble Torin are peaceful in nature, the rites of the Great Hunt are venerated as the heart of their spiritual culture. As a tribesman of Mulgor, you must test your skills in the wild and prove yourself in the Great Hunt. Alright, so this is the classic hardcore. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. We are basically gonna begin adventure. All right, so this is the, yeah, we we got some just general housekeeping things we need to do really quick. Um, let's go into system. Yeah, I we're gonna bump this up here, just like that, because we've got quite a good graphics card. <laughs> we don't need to be doing anything else. Um, let's see, let us go into advance, oh yes. UI scale is something I always enjoy to kind of bring down, just like so. And uh, yeah, let's see, max foreground FPS. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, we're, we're playing at 60 FPS, so let's just cap it at 60. We don't need to go anything more than that. Uh, let's see, there, we, well, 61's fine. Hit apply. Um, what else do we need to do? It's been a long time. Uh, let's see. Key bindings. Oh, action bar. We are going to... Uh, let's see here. I want to... Yeah, I want to show action bars. I forgot how to do that. Let's see. Um, is it interface options? Yes. All right, so we're going to do auto loot. And then action bars, here we go. Uh, let's see. Always show action bars. There we go. Okay, great, so we have that. Uh, let's see. Show right action bar, yeah. I don't want, okay. So we'll do that for right now. We don't need, I don't think we need those right this second though. And, uh, yeah, all right, um, let's see, do we need, 
display show tutorials no all right reset those tutorials yeah we don't need that and okay yeah we don't need to display tips all right guys here we go <laughs> let's start it how may i aid you greetings natok and welcome to camp uh, narache news of your arrival spread quickly among the tribe all right the hunt begins you have a promising air about you and will prove yourself to the tribe perhaps some day soon you will be welcomed into the great city of thunder bluff but before that can happen you must prove yourself to my father chief hawkwind up here on red cloud mesa we pride ourselves on keen hunting skills torn hunt out of necessity and for sport our supply of meats has run low and we require feathers for clothing hunt the nearby plane striders and prove yourself by resupplying the village all right quest objective uh we need to kill seven plane or we need to bring him seven plane strider feathers and seven pieces of plane strider meat uh, and we'll be able to choose uh, some rewards here okay so we got that so basically, also, we cannot visit the auction house. Uh, we can't purchase anything from the auction house. We can't, uh, you know, we can't trade with other uh, players, nothing like that. So basically, our gear is only going to come from um, what we get from quest rewards. And that is how that's going to roll. So, all right. So let's see. And did we accept that quest? Oh, yes, we did, didn't we? Can we, is there a quest tracker? I don't think there is, just right here. All right, so let's see. We need to supply the meats, resupplying a village. All right, let's check our map again. Just wanna make sure we're gonna be going in the, yeah, definitely around here. Oh, those are spirit healers. Oh, that's cool. Okay, it's good to know that. All right, let's go. Well, it's definitely been a while, my friends. Um, I've been, you know, been playing some other games. Um, as you know, I had got, uh, I did uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, Tears of the Kingdom on uh, the main channel, CJR. And, uh, you know, I can't, I, I tell you, I, I can't break through with any other types of gaming on that channel. So I did create a second channel. Uh, it's called Pride Play Gaming. And, um... I am continuing the uh, the you know Legend of Zelda series over there. Um, you can go on to the community board, and you can see uh, the new channel. Uh, you know, if you're interested in non WoW stuff or non Blizzard things, check out that gaming channel. There's going to be a lot more. Right now, it's just Zelda, but uh, you know we've got some cool games coming out uh, in 2023. So. I'm uh, thinking that, uh, you know, I'm going to be posting more over there. Um, but it's awesome to be back in World of Warcraft. Also, uh, a lot of you know that um, uh, some of my previous WoW um, uh, videos haven't really had commentary on them. I've been having some issues with uh, my voice. Um, but all of that seems to now be worked out and really happy uh, to be back here talking with you guys. Because uh, I do, uh, I do love that interaction, and uh, you know. So moving forward, uh, these these videos will have commentary. I do think that perhaps um, my mage series won't have commentary. Um, I think we'll just keep that, you know, just without. Uh, some people have expressed that they do like um, some series without commentary because they can just kind of put it on the background, um, you know, on like a second or third monitor. And, uh, you know, they can just kind of watch it like at work or, you know, in the background or something like that, which is cool. I'm down for that. So, but, uh, you know, I am going to be bringing back the, uh, I'm going to be, be bringing back our Lich King um, uh, Paladin, Scuggin. So he will be back. And, um, yeah, we're going to continue his adventures in Northrend. And, uh, I don't know. We definitely have Smuckers, um, 
on retail right now. So we're going to continue with him. And then, of course, we've got our Hunter tier. And uh, the Hunter series has done really well. People are really, uh, really responding well to that one. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we've got uh, N plus the Hardcore. Again, you know, the Hardcore is uh, looking forward to it. It's really just going to be um, until, you know, until we die here. Oh, a screen capture. That's interesting. Oh, that must be for... Uh, the hardcore add-on but anyways yeah we're going to continue uh our shaman until the uh inevitable fate happens and uh, i'm going to be playing probably a little extra uh carefully you know i don't want to uh i don't want to die right away um i'd like to at least get into this and experience it all right so we've got we need three more Feathers. Alright, cool. So we got that. This is cool. This is Mulgore, man. This is nice. It's, uh... I've never been over here before, really. I mean, not like this. I mean, I've, I've been to Thunder Bluff before, but I've never really experienced, like, Mulgore. It's definitely interesting. It's, uh... Kind of like... These open plains, and... Yeah, definitely... Yeah, fun fact, Torin is an anagram uh, for nature. Uh, I know that they were like, during the development of World of Warcraft, um, that was one thing that they did. They wanted, you know, the Torin to have some type of like nature connection. And, well, it, it that's what it is. So if you, if you take Torin, it will spell nature, which is pretty cool, I think. All right. Sorry if I'm a little uh, sniffly. I don't know. Woke up this morning. Allergies seem to be. Uh, I've been sneezing all morning, so allergies seem to be a little bit more um, active this morning here in Arizona. All right, so let's turn this in. Hail. All right, the hunt begins. Providing meat and feathers for the tribe is the first step in proving yourself as a hunter before the chief. Uh, the Torin of Narache, thank you, Natak. You show much promise. Alright, so we'll grab this belt. Alright, rune inscribed note. Just a moment ago, a messenger was looking for you, Natak. I believe she sent she was sent by the shaman trainer, Mila. If this note is from Mila, I wouldn't take long in reading its contents. All right, so we need to re uh, read the rune inscribed note. Farewell. And what let's do this. The hunt continues. A Torin skilled in the ways of the hunt knows that his prey is not for mere trophy. The beasts of the plains provide us with means of survival. You will make quite an impression on the elders if you can bring back some highly valued mountain cougar pelts you can find the beasts lurking in the hills to the south our children need clothing and our tents need mending all right so we need to bring him 10 mountain cougar pelts and then we can uh looks like we'll get some new uh bracers Ancestors. all right so let's do that and uh let's see we have a letter right so let's open up our letter I greet you, young shaman. The winds told me of your coming. The earth gave praise of your strength, and now the ancient spirits, with spirits whisper of your accomplishments to come. Our people always need wise and great leaders. They often turn to our kind for both virtues. If you are willing, I would teach you more of our ways. Seek me out in Camp Narache on Red Cloud Mesa. We will speak more then. All right, Mila Dawnstrider, Shaman Trainer. And here is here she is right here. How may I aid you? All right, rune inscribed note. As quickly as water falls from the sky, here you are before me. I am pleased by your haste. It means you realize both the importance of our meeting and you will and you being here. I am no leader, but I do understand the elements, and I can speak to the spirits of our people. 
I will teach you to do the same. All right. We will meet many times in the days to come. Each time you will hopefully leave my company a little more powerful, a little more prepared. Like the eternal flame, your spirit will burn bright and hot. Go now, Natok. Go and test yourself. I will be here for you when you need. All right. Walk with the earth. Can we learn anything right now? A uh, rock biter weapon. No, we need to sell some things, it looks like. Let's see. Can we? Yes, general goods we can sell here. Uh, I don't need that. Oh, scrap. Yeah. All right. Oh, so we got 53. That's great. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see. And we got this nomadic belt. We do have the shield. Go in peace. Let's see. Let's equip that. I think I want to go like enhancement personally. And uh, yeah, so I think a one handed and a shield would be good. At least for survivability, right? All right, so we got Rockbiter weapon. This imbues uh, the shaman's weapon with attack power by th uh, 33 attack power. Wow. Not bad, man. All right, so let's train that. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Now let's open up our uh, our talents. Or not our talents, but our spells. We got Rockbiter weapon. Cool. Um, let's see. We'll just put that. We'll just put that right here for now. All right. So I'm five minute cooldown. All right. War stomp. Yes, that's what's a good one. That stuns up to five enemies within eight yards. So that's definitely a great kind of get out of jail free card if we need to. To run. All right. And we got this. Okay. So let us do it now. All right. So we are heading off to uh, the south, it looks like. Yeah. Over this way for um, what's it called? The Cougars. Oh, wait. North. No, south this way. It's definitely interesting not having like the markers on the map. It uh, definitely brings back those old school initial memories of World of Warcraft because I never played with add-ons when I first started. Um, I didn't even really know what they were. I was quite uh, yeah, I was quite the noob uh, back during the day, and I never yeah, I I had no idea what add-ons were and like I said I never played with them so um never had a map add-on or nothing like that so uh yeah uh, it feels like that again <laughs> you get used to some of these uh you know what are they um you get used to some of these uh quality of life things and uh, they're not here anymore and that's okay I mean this is how World of Warcraft is originally meant to be played so we're going to do it that way. All right. We're going to turn some enemy enemy plates name plates on though. So this is definitely okay. So that's the mountain cougar. So we're good there. All right, cool. So we got the pelt. We need a few more. I don't know if you guys can hear any background noise, but um, the room where I record in kind of faces a, a busy street, and it's super annoying. It's such a loud neighborhood over here. And so... Uh, I don't know. I can hear the cars going by and, you know, junk like that. So if you guys hear it in the background, I apologize. Um, I try to strive for perfection. And sometimes, you know, being a perfectionist is, it's exhausting, right? I just, it annoys me so much when things don't go perfect. <laughs> My husband can definitely attest to that. Um, I can be a little cranky sometimes when things don't go that way. But yeah, it is what it is. I just want to bring you guys the best, the best, uh, you know, content possible, and 
you know, I hate it when when I can't, so. But if you can't hear it, fantastic, then, you know, then I won't, uh, then it won't be an issue, will it? All right. Um, so the other thing, too, I wanted to say was I really want to play Diablo. I want to give it a shot. I think I will play it on this channel because it is a, a Blizzard um, IP. And uh, I think the Blizzard IPs would be great on this channel. Um, you know, uh, some of you expressed um, interest in doing a Diablo playthrough. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I think it'll be fun to do that. Um, I've never played Diablo. Well, I should take that back. I did play Diablo 3. Uh, what was it? How long ago was Diablo 3 out? Like 10 years or something like that? I think it's been a long time. Um, I, I played it when I did like a... It was a uh, promotion with World of Warcraft, World with Blizzard. Like you do like... A year's worth of game time and you get a free mount and you get like you know Diablo 3 for free well for free right nothing's really free but um, so I played it a little bit then and I enjoyed it but I kind of fell off of it and went back to World of Warcraft because I think at the time it was during mists of Pandaria or something like that um, but uh, Diablo 4, I've heard some really good things about, and I'm super excited, and I'm definitely going to check it out. So, um, you know, that'll be another little thing that we do. Um, I don't know when, but it is something that uh, is on my list. Alright, we need one more pelt. Oh yeah, here it is right here. So we are level, what, level 3 now? Yeah, level 3. Oops, I shouldn't have clicked off like that. That's alright. Yeah, I'm definitely eager to see how far in this journey, in this shaman's journey that we're going to get. Um, no idea. And like I said... I think it makes it even more interesting because I've never played this class. So I have no idea, um, you know, as far as when it comes to dropping totems and what kind of totems I need and whatever. So if any of you guys out there have played a shaman, you know, especially in classic WoW, um, and you have some advice, hey, you know, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Uh, you know, be like, dude, you're totally playing this wrong. Um, this is what you need to do. <laughs> And I would really appreciate that um, because I want to, you know, I want to play a class correctly. Um, I don't want to look like a complete idiot, you know, as I'm uh, playing this thing. All right, so we're going to go turn this in now. All right, greetings, Natok, uh, and welcome to Camp Narache. Yes, we know this. We've been through that. If you can provide pelts for the tribe, I will pass word along to my father, Chief Hawkwind, of your generous deeds. Well, here you go. All right, the Torin of Narache. Thank you for these provisions, Natok. Uh, with your skill in the ways of the hunt, you will surely be revered in Thunder Bluff. Perfect. All right, we grab some new bracers. And uh, the battle boards, the battle, oh, battle boars, <laughs> not the battle boards, not the battle toads, the battle boars of Bramble Blade Raven to the east are encroaching on our tribal hunting grounds. They are trained to be malicious by the bristleback quill boars with whom we are at war. Go and slay the vile creatures and bring back some snouts and flanks so that we can make stew for our young. <laughs> Dang. Wow. 
Okay, that's that's pretty dark. We're going to make stew from our enemies. Perfect. All right, so uh, we are to basically kill uh, eight battle boars, bring back their snouts, and their flanks. Fantastic. All right. Be careful. And, yep, there's one right here. What oh, we got? Right. All right. Break sharp tusk. Now talk. I have heard of you, newcomer. Perhaps... It is you that will help us where others have failed. We Torn have carved a home out of this land, but not without a cost. The bristleback quillbores of Brambleblade Raven, uh, Ra Ravine, excuse me, led by Chief Sharp Tusk Thor Thornmantle, have made our lives difficult with their continued war against us. I charge you to bring me the chief's head. He will be found in the ravine. To the east in their makeshift village, bring the head to Chief Sharp Tusk Thornmantle to brave Windfeather in Red Cloud Mesa. All right, we'll be able to get some new uh, new gloves here. All right, let's uh, let's go back and see if we need to uh, if we can sell some things. How may I aid you? Yes, I know. All right, so we sold that. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we have that one already. And ours is better. Let's see, we don't do mail, not yet. And, okay, so let us Maybe equip some back and some bracers. There we go. All right, so to the east. That's where we are heading to kill some of these uh, bristleback dudes and then bring them back so that we can cook them and feed them to our young. That's fantastic. That is, uh, that's not, you know, that's, that's, that seems perfectly normal. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm thinking they're probably going to be over here where that big, like, thorn thing is. And that one dude, though, we got to kill. I don't know, man. Break, uh, break sharp tusk. Oh, yeah, and the other thing, too, is we cannot group up um, when you are in hardcore. Like, for quests, you can't group. So, yeah. Oh, battle boar. Is this one of them? Do I have to kill them? I think so. Um, yeah, so we, you can't group to do any type of quests. The only times you can group is to do a dungeon. And you can only do the dungeon one time. Um, you can't run it, um, you know, multiple times or anything like that. So one and done, as they say. Oh, yeah, the battle boar. Okay, it's actually just a pig. I thought it was like the quill boar or something like that, like a humanoid type species. And I was thinking, dang, man, we're going to cook them? That's just a little dark. But no, it's just it's just a boar. All right. Got to be careful. One life. One life to live, right? You guys remember that? Uh, no, you probably don't. None of you guys probably remember that soap opera, One Life to Live. Oh, man, I'm out of mana. That's no bueno. Yeah. Oh, I need to do my rock biter. That's the thing, is that, yeah, shamans rely on mana. So, gotta be mindful of that. I don't know if enhancement... Well, maybe Enhancement does as well, because a lot of the stuff is spells, I think. Um, you know, like different types of shocks, like Earth Shock, Fire Shock, things like that. Um, I could be wrong, but we'll see, I guess, as we level. Alright, so we are at three flanks and two snouts. This is definitely a good way to uh, level up your uh, 
your defenses and your like mace skills. <laughs> Let's try the war stomp. Nice. Although it is castable, that's the thing that stinks. It's not instant. So you can get interrupted while you do that. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and heal ourselves really quick. So, in classic WoW, shamans are only horde, and paladins are only alliance. So that's... Yeah, so that's the the differentiate that that's how they differentiate those two classes obviously in um tbc they changed that they opened up paladins uh to the blood elves and uh the draenei ended up getting uh, shamans so that was the first time that that happened i thought it was kind of cool um and then later on in cataclysm then uh, dwarves ended up being able to be shamans. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of cool too. And I think that's it. I think I think there's only the Draenei and the dwarves that can be shamans. All right, cool. We didn't we got a new uh, got a little pouch there. Perfect. Let's see, we got a few more of these to do. I'm out of range. All right, cool. Just one more flank and two more. Snouts. I think originally shamans were supposed to be tanks also. Um, because they've got some spells that definitely are there to like generate high amounts of threat. Uh, they can obviously one hand with a shield. Um, but never really... I never think... They didn't really get flushed out. Um, but I think that's kind of how how it was um, originally meant to be. Alright, and we need two more snouts, and then that'll be it. Let's check our bags. Alright, we're okay. One more snout. Uh, what was it too? Oh, yeah. Also, uh, you know, we've got the community forums on uh, CGR Gaming on the YouTube channel there. Um, you know, I post stuff there um, about, you know, upcoming games, things like that. Also, um, we are just over 460 subscribers right now. Uh, when we get to 500... I'm going to do a little face reveal, a little video probably, uh, just to say thank you. Um, you know, I'm hopefully you guys would be interested in that. Um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, it, it might be cool to kind of see the person who's been talking to you for, uh, you know, the past few years or however long you've joined the channel. I'm sure you guys are curious about what I look like. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so if we can get to 500 subscribers, then yeah, there's a big old face reveal. 
uh, YouTube recently changed the uh, monetization uh, requirements. Um, they didn't do a full revamp, but it used to be a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours in a year. But they've now lowered it to five hundred subscribers um, and still the still the five hundred or still the four thousand watch hours. Um, but the difference is. Um, you still need to get a thousand subscribers to monetize your channel. Um, but the 500 subscribers allow the option for now the community to be able to donate and do like the super thanks and things like that, which is interesting. I mean, I've would never, um, I would never expect anything from you guys. I make this stuff because I enjoy it. I don't make it, um, you know, to to receive any type of, um, you know, monetization goals from like you guys. Um, but YouTube has introduced the, you know, super thanks function or, or ability. Um, so that's what the 500 subscribers does, I think. Um, but it still is a thousand subscribers. So, you know, once we reach 500, we still have a bit to go. But uh, that's all right. You know, it's a journey, and I'm having fun doing it. So, all right, the battle boars. All right, the aggression of the battle boars is increasing. Have you sent them a clear message and brought back some snouts and flanks? Sure have. All right, most excellent. These ingredients will make a fine stew, and the loss of those boars should be a fair lesson to those vile bristlebacks. All right, we're going to, oh, we'll get a new vest and some bread, it looks like. Cool. Let's check this out. Let's throw our vest on. There we go. And uh, let's see. Anything else? Nope, don't think so. Oh, yeah, we forgot to go kill that other dude, though, didn't we? We got some quests that open up here, so let's do this. Mm, Call of Earth, the time has come, young shaman. Your body ages and grows strong, and your spirit endures like the earth. I see it within you. You have wisdom already. The earth guides our people, and it speaks to us, as it will to you in time. But you must be tested. If you are ready, then you shall see things only our kind know of. Seek out the bristleback shamans in their ravine to the east, and take from them a salve they use in their rituals. Return to me when you have enough for your own potion. Bring two applications of ritual solve to uh, Seer Ravenfeather in Camp Narache. All right. We shall meet again. Uh, A humble task. All members of the tribe share in the harmony of life. We live together and work together. Our commitment to one another carries with it at high degree of responsibility. I ask of you now a humble task. Uh, my mother sent, uh, my mother set out this morning to fetch water uh, from the well to the southeast of Narache. It has been quite some time now. Perhaps you could check on her for me while I attend to tribal matters here. Chief Hawkwin wants you to reach. Uh, so yeah, we just need to basically search for the mother near the water uh, from the southeast of the camp. Okay, so we can do that. Go. Let's see. And... Let's sell some stuff here. What brings Why does this here? keep doing this, this scrap? It is very annoying. Let's just do this. All right. All right, so frayed cloak we can get rid of. We can get rid of these pants, this vest, that. Let's see. 29 armor. Wow. Okay, but we don't need that right now. Ancestors watch over you. Oh. We've got a club, short staff. All right, but we are level Thank 4. You. So we should be able to go to our trainer and get a few, or at least find out the next spell or next ability we're gonna get. Oops. Ah, I've been Earthshock. Okay, very good. 
So instantly shocks the target with concussive force causing 17 to 19 nature damage. It also interrupts spell casting, prevents any spell in that school from being cast for two seconds. Causes a high amount of threat. So this is what I'm telling you about. Like this ability causes a lot of threat. And you would, as a, as a tank, you know, you rely on threat. So that's why I was thinking like shamans have had to have been planned as some type of tank. Um, you know, I could be wrong, but that's kind of how I think it is. All right, let's uh, let's see here. How? What is my? Yep, yeah, there it goes. All right, cool. So we have that. Uh, let's see. All right, so to the east, still the bramble. Yeah, the bramble blade ravine right over here. And uh, we still have to, let's check our quests. All right, so we've got the Shaman. Bring two applications of rituals solved to the Seer Raven Feather and Cap, Camp Narache, which is what we're doing. Uh, that's, and then we've got the other, uh, the other quests here. All right, so I think, for, I think we're going to call it for today. Uh, we got a good start on our Shaman. And... Uh, yeah, when we, you know, when we come back, we're going to finish up with the uh, the Shaman class quest and then also the two additional um, uh, normal quests that we're doing. Um, but yeah, this was a good kickoff to uh, the Shaman Hardcore. Like I said, super excited to see how far we get with the Shaman. Um, definitely... I'm excited to be doing this. And, uh, you know, if we die, we die. Then, you know, we'll go on to another class and we'll figure it out. But uh, I think the Hardcore series is going to be fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, my friends, that's going to do it for today. As always, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. If you enjoyed today's episode and you'd like more content from yours truly, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'll see you in Azeroth.